have you ever felt confused by looking at synthesizers like this? Or like this? Or even like this? If that's your case, don't worry. In today's video, we will break down every core component of a virtual synthesizer so you can build sounds like this. Wow! I will be using Vital, a great DST synth to better understand subtractive synthesis. The oscillators are what create sound. That's it. Next slide. No, but seriously. Oscillators allow you to shape your sound. This is where you'll create a sonically rich sound that you'll transform later on. The most basic waves that you'll encounter on pretty much any synth are sine wave, triangle wave, saw wave, square wave, as you can hear, each of these waves has a different timbre. Most synthesizers offer the possibility to use multiple oscillators at once. You can choose the pitch of each oscillator. This simple step can turn shy sounds into impressive ones. It is also worth noting that for the square wave, the pulse width can be set. A higher value usually leads to a narrower pulse and a thinner sound. Most synthesizers also use some noise types as oscillators. This is great if you're looking to create percussive sounds. More modern synthesizers might use complex oscillators, such as wavetable oscillators, FM and spectral warping capabilities. If that last sentence sounded like gibberish to you, don't panic. This is more advanced stuff. Vital uses these techniques. They're great for sound design and modern sounds, but you can absolutely get great results with basic options. Filters allow you to remove harmonics from the oscillators. The most standard filter is a low pass filter. The two core parameters are cutoff and resonance. The cutoff value indicates what frequencies will be cut off and therefore what frequencies will be let through. When using a low pass filter, the frequencies below the cutoff value will pass through the filter. This is the result you'll hear. Keep in mind that most filters operate between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. This is the normal human hearing range. The resonance setting allows you to accentuate part of the spectrum. This can create anything from a laser gun type of sound to a more beefy bass sound. The resonance point is always at the cutoff value. Other types of filters include a high pass filter, a band pass filter, and a notch filter. These all affect the sound in different ways. I encourage you to experiment with them all. The high pass filter will remove the low frequencies instead of the high frequencies. In Vital, you can blend between these two filters to create a hybrid filter. A function generator is a fancy word we use to describe the shapes we can use to control other parameters of the synth. They're like tiny robots that control the synth. The main function generator or the main modulator is the ADSR. ADSR stands for attack, decay, sustain, and release. The attack stage will be triggered once you press a note on the keyboard. The knob controls the time it'll take to reach the peak value. In my case, the ADSR is now controlling the amplitude or the volume of the synth. The decay time indicates the duration of the fall from the peak attack level to the sustain level. You might not hear its effect if the sustain is all the way up. The sustain level is the level your sound will stay at once you hold the note. The release time is the time needed for the note to fade out.
By default, the ADSR controls the volume of the synth, but you can use it to control pretty much any parameter of the synth. I could try modulating the filter with the ADSR. Another very important function generator is the LFO. LFO means low frequency oscillator. Basically, it is the same thing as a standard oscillator, except that it operates on a much lower frequency and therefore a much lower speed. That way you can use the oscillations as a source of modulation. Let's try it on the filter. There are many LFO shapes that you can choose from, <clears throat> and sometimes you can even draw your own LFO shape. Keep in mind that this is just a saw wave you're hearing. The last type of modulators is a random generator. This might include noise and uh, sample and holds. They will generate a random value according to their frequency and to their amount. This is great for creating uh, surprising sounds or perhaps more chaotic sounds. Most synthesizers allow you to control the amount of the modulation that you're sending to another parameter. Vital does this using a knob for the modulation source. This small detail is huge when creating sounds. Otherwise, your modulation might sound a bit intense. Your synth might contain a ton of bells and whistles to help you make better sounds. This can help you make a simple batch more interesting. Vital has a very intuitive detuning system where you can set the number of voices and the amount of detuning. This is great for creating super saws very quickly. Vital also has a gliding feature for sliding sounds. The built-in effects are great and very easy to use. And in Vital, you can also use the MIDI information as a source of modulation. For example, you could use the node value to control the filter. This means the filter will open up when the pitch is higher. Here's a list of topics that you can explore if you want to dive deeper into synthesis. FM synthesis, wavetable synthesis, granular synthesis, modular synthesis, east coast and west coast synthesis. And lastly, you might want to check out FFT. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to experiment and to make this music your own.